the motherfucking Hinato saga continues. Where's your gi at, man? Where's the gi? Where's your gi? We're gonna play one day. Where's your gi? <laughs> what was that? Gonna play one day, no gi. Oh, one day a week? Gonna one play day week. one day, I give a try. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I gotta show you, you know, that, you know, we're gonna see a lot of de deficiencies with, without the gi. Oh, wait, wait. Hey. Learn about the top, man. Oh, respectful. You're gonna do no gi once a week? That's great. You can do no gi as much as you want, whatever. I don't care. What are you gonna show that's deficient? Are you, what are you saying? Exactly. I'm gonna play without the gi. That's it. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna awesome. play. From now on? I'm gonna play your game. That's it. Oh, awesome. That's. Fuck yeah, that's all I wanted to hear, man. That's right, but I'm no different than anyone here. I come for a jujitsu. Okay, okay. That's it. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's all good. It's all good. You don't have to focus on me. Oh, I can't make everybody do, you know, everybody do no key. We're going to play everything nice. Everything good. It's all good? It's all good. That's it. It's all good? You bring some acai or anything? Do you look good? Yeah, every day I have acai. What train? Afterwards, have acai. Then, but go out, have acai. But sometimes have guaranche. <laughs> sometimes, if I fast, I put you one pot of agua for water. Then, lemon. Then, I put maple syrup. Then, I put paprika. <laughs> that's, that's a pleasure system. I love that shit, dude. Acai is my favorite shit. I went to Brazil, I ate that shit morning, day, night. I love that shit, man. I wanted to make you strong. Yeah, I yeah. wanted to make you go with the, the women. Really? I didn't know about it. Really Trust me. That's why my shit wouldn't go down, okay? Found in one sweet to ten finger guillotine. Danny Prokopos from San Francisco. Yeah! The last couple days, we've been working on guillotines off a failed hip bump sweep from Full Guard. Danny's gonna show his little variation. We got Marcelo's little variation. I think we worked on that. Uh, we got my variation, which is total shit, but uh, it'll make a comeback. And who else did we do? We did someone else's variation. Epstein's. Oh, forget about that one. Is he here? He is here. He was here. He was here. Okay, it works. Did he put up wash? I mean, this won't give up my friends. Sonny? Alright, so, um, I guess, no, I don't guess, I know. What's different about my guillotine is the grip. So, basic way to do it, you start off, wrap around the head, this hand faces you, turn, bring it in, go up, like that. Um, I learned this from my uh, friend, Darren Wanoyama, good fighter, fights in dream. So, can you speak up, Danny? So, yeah, sure. Um, I've got the guy in my guard, all right, just posture up, Sonny. It's going to be a failed hip bump sweep. So, what I'm going to do is bridge, create space between my lower back and the mat, and from here I'm going to rock up, and I'm going to post on my hand, okay? A lot of people chill on their elbow, it's better if you post on your hand. Now I'm going to open my legs. Squeeze my thighs together, and I'm gonna go to hit him. Beautiful. Fail hit bumps. He, he, fail. He bumps. bases out. Right when he bases out and he pushes back, I'm gonna wrap around the head. Watch when I put my hand on the mat. I scoop my butt back. I lock up the grip. Now my right hand faces away. See? I'm here. Now I'm gonna switch to this. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull it in to my chest. Up. I escape my hip. Okay? And I just squeeze. All right? Everybody's different. Everybody has a different choke tolerance. Once I put it in, I start counting. I see you, you, you don't care if the arm's in? No. It doesn't matter now. And this part is right here. Violent carotid artery. What part is that? The wrist? 
the outside the, the of the pinky, wrist. The pinky outside side of my pinky. forearm. The pinky side of my forearm. The pinky side, side of my forearm. Oh, okay. The forearm. Okay, yeah. Right okay. here, this. The outside. I, I, I think that's why it's so effective is because this is like, this bone isn't as big as this. So. You can choke everybody uh, with one arm. You never do left arm guillotines ever. Wait, what do you mean left arm? Well, you, you, that was a right arm guillotine. Yeah. Here we do yeah. left arm I do, I do, but that's only when I'm on top and I'm on pa and I'm passing that way. But I always prefer that the the way that I show. Okay. So, um, posture. I'm here. Resist, res remember, when you hit this hip bump sweep, I want you to hit it like you really want it. If you actually get it, that's good. Your hip bump sweep is getting pretty good. Got on top. I want you to resist 100 percent. This for opening move is 100 percent. Stuffs in. Then, and I want you to resist the choke as much as you can. Not 100% with the hands or anything. We're all, we're just working on getting in our numbers with, with the squeezes. All right, getting comfortable wrapping your opponent's head in a guillotine way. So I'm here, I bridge, I come up, I open my legs, I squeeze. The reason that I'm telling you guys to squeeze your legs is even, even if you're like, even if it's just a setup, a lot of people, especially beginners, they open their legs and people hop over. So that's an important nuance. You come up, hit him. Right when he pushes back, you wrap, you move your butt back. From here, my left hand grabs the fat of my right hand. I switch the grip. I pull it into my chest. Now I'm going to go up and fall to the side. If I feel like I'm not getting this choke, by the way, important. I'll just, can you watch out? I'll just take the guy over, just like that. And then from here, I can step over mount, tap him, or I can switch to my knees, come here, go here, or even sometimes if I'm here, I'm going to the gate. There's a lot more nuances to what I showed, but just so everybody gets the idea and so they see what's there. So one more time. You can over too. Get on the mount, finish it on the mount, get comfortable. Yeah, it's pulling on that neck to different spots. Sometimes too, when you lock in the choke, when it's really tight, people will roll to their backs to defend it because that's their last option. Here, I come up, bam. Tap, and then from here, I could put this hook in, but I don't like doing that. I just take the head over. Base on your head. Make sure you put your feet in arch. What, you have a question, uh, Laranj? When you push your hands, you start like this. Yes. Sir. Then you're going to push like this. Yes. That's it. That's much better if you have the, the sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And now, featuring the musical sounds of Rap Smith and the State of Law. Yeah! Fucking rally up in this bitch.
come to lose, I came to fucking win. Baby steps. <laughs> Nice. Leg lock wizard here. <laughs> Damn, this guy's strong. Ben Sample. Working on it. Failed Tupperware Rob Pass to Carney. Um, Robert, we're gonna do a, a successful Capoeira Pass, Marcelo style. It's, it's a traditional uh, Capoeira, also a traditional. Uh, it's a dance, but it's a fight. They come yeah. from my country. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we, yeah, yeah. but, but if you can put the name in Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. They're yeah. still good. Yes. That's good because people know, even though no gi, you still keep Jiu-Jitsu. See, keep Brazil. Yes. Yes. Keep Brazil. Well, you see, this pass, I, I don't think it had a name. It looked like a capoeira move. Yes, sir. So, we just call it the capoeira pass. Cool? All right. Um, there's a, a couple ways we could do this. We could do it off quarter guard with the wizard here and fly over here, or you can come in almost backwards. <laughs> you could come in right here, fall back, jam his elbow, and when you fall back, you want to hook this leg initially, just so he doesn't use momentum to get on top of you. Once you settle down here and his arm is nice and jammed and you're grabbing his ribs here, you want to be as high as possible. You don't want to be right here. His elbow's not jammed. You want his elbow jammed, just like twister side control. Why are you going to grab like this? Why are you not going to grab his hash guard? No, no, we're not grabbing rash guard today. But if you, you don't want him to move, you're going to push like this. If I come to you and you try to get away, you're going to run. I'm not going to go like this. I'm not gonna push my hands like that. I'm gonna go like this. All right, dude. Okay. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna grab. Okay. Okay. That, that's 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 right. That's, that's, that's just from my from my experience. Marcelo Garcia does it this way, man. That's, that's, you know what I mean? That's, that's, he's Brazilian. That's, that's, yeah, he's, he's, yes, yes. Okay. That's okay. It. Anyways, once you have him settled down and his elbows jam, then we can let go of this leg, and he's then we use our free leg to eventually. You're gonna put more resistance, make them work. Eventually, we pass. Then we're gonna, we're gonna go in backwards, jamming him here, grabbing the leg. Then he's gonna get the underhook in. His right under, he's gonna grab that underhook, he gets on top, we clear the neck, and we're in a cart. Ryan Hall did this in Grappler's Quest or some shit. <laughs> 